Well, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, check out the Tanya RC front loader. Got a little bit of a makeover the other night there. I decided to uh, change up a few things, make this thing look really super awesome. So I ended up painting the bucket, the cab, the wheels, all in a satin black, and then I topped it off with some cat stickers there. Some Calipitter stickers I had for uh, the excavator, which came with some, and so I put them on there. I know this is not exactly detail or exact kind of uh, stickers there to put on it, but anyway, it looks a lot better than its original look. Uh, the original look just looked kind of really cheesy with that gunmetal gray, which I love gunmetal gray, but I just don't like it on a construction vehicle. I think either black or white looks good. So, but it looks very, very sweet. Now, I also did paint the uh, fender wells too to kind of just give a little more detail. Also, one of the things I did here was I opened up the window there and uh, had my little Jose in there running the, the front loader. And I was kind of <laughs> looking at this part because it made no really sense. Now, this is a complete window all the way around and it had this door, but nothing... No, no way for the window to up, you know, open up. And I was like, oh, so you, what do you got to do? Open the door, crawl through, and inside. So I went ahead and cut it out, and then I put a little rubber piece tube there, and uh, so it gives like the border or the, the frame, I guess you want to say. And it looks pretty awesome. I'm very surprised with the vehicle, and uh, you know, why I was doing this, I got to learn the vehicle, learning how to take it apart, learning how to put it back together, learning all the stuff that's inside. And I uh, just found a lot of cool things like under the hood part where the engine would be at is four lead weight bars in there. And that's where this gets this weight right there. There's those four lead bars in there. Also in the excavator as well, there's four lead bars in the rear of it. So that gives that a little bit of weight there. But uh, yeah. Now, one of the other things I did was I disabled the front lights on the vehicle because that's one of the things I didn't like on the vehicle because when you move, when you go forward or you're lifting up and down or tilting your bucket, the lights will come on. And I didn't like that. I thought that just really took away from the scaleness of it and stuff. So I went in there and I disabled it, which was very easy because this is on another V4 motherboard. Uh, and it has all plugs in it, so you just pull the plug and the lights shut off. So now I don't have to worry about those front lights coming on anymore. So that should be good. But other than that, it looks just amazing. It looks so, like, mean, like this color right here. Now, I do want to say that this is kind of a, like a scale replica of the Lindbergh 5. 580 or 583 uh, front loader. Now I know Cat Caterpillar doesn't make anything like this or they might make something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But I know that these stickers are not you know exact to this type of vehicle and that's okay. But at least I am a little bit different. I always like to be different on uh, when I customize my vehicles I like to do it to my my way. But Yep. So my friends, I just wanted to show y'all what I've done to the vehicle, how mean it looks, how much better it looks. It doesn't look like a cheesy toy grade RC. It looks very, very cool. So yeah. All right. Well, my friends, I will see y'all in the next upcoming RC video. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all later.